Have you ever encountered a frustrating error while coding, only to feel stuck and unsure of how to move forward? If that's you, you're in the right place. Today, we're diving into a common PHP issue, the fatal error that says you cannot instantiate an abstract class. I totally understand how annoying it can be when you're trying to build something and an error pops up halting your progress. You're not alone in this. Many developers face similar challenges when working with abstract classes in PHP. Let's take a closer look at the specific situation. One user recently asked, why am I getting a fatal error when trying to instantiate my abstract class? They shared their code, which includes an abs database class and another abstract class extending it. Sound familiar? Let's explore this together. So what's happening here? In PHP, an abstract class cannot be instantiated directly. This means that if you try to create an object from an abstract class, you'll run into that fatal error. Let's break down how to resolve this issue. And stick around. At the end of this video, I'll share a pro tip that will help you avoid similar issues in the future. To resolve the issue of instantiating an abstract class, the user needs to create a concrete subclass that implements all abstract methods. This means defining a new class that extends my database and provides implementations for any abstract methods. Next, the user should implement any abstract methods from the parent classes. Since my database is abstract, it may have abstract methods inherited from database that need to be defined. After implementing the necessary methods, the user can now instantiate the concrete class. This will allow them to create an object of my concrete database without encountering the fatal error. Finally, the user can now use the setValue method to change the protected value as intended. This will allow for the desired functionality without any errors. Fun fact, did you know that abstract classes are like blueprints? You can't build a house just from a blueprint. You need a contractor to bring it to life. Similarly, you need a concrete class to use an abstract class. Now let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative solution provided by another user suggests that your class should not be abstract. Instead, you can simply extend the database class without the abstract keyword. This allows you to instantiate my database and use the setValue method to modify the protected value. Here's the pro tip I promised. Always ensure that your abstract classes have corresponding concrete classes that implement their methods. This will save you from many headaches down the line. And there you have it. By understanding how to properly use abstract classes and creating concrete implementations, you can avoid those frustrating errors. If you found this video helpful, hit the subscribe button for more coding tips and don't miss our next video.